by viewing the word Carney, it's the best people in the world. It's showtime. Right, Blake? There you go. Carney? I like Carney, personally. Yeah. It's when Dirty Carney comes out that it's a little harsh. What do you mean by Dirty Carney? A lot of people call us Dirty Carnies just because back in the day, there wasn't a lot of showers and stuff like that around, so you were trying to wash where you could. But we've really changed from that now. We've got every trailer we have has good shower units. We have a truck that's dedicated to just showers now. I got uh, beat up last year across the street from when I was filling up a five ton because I was wearing a blue shirt and the guys didn't like carnies. He said, you're wearing a blue shirt, you're dead. And I had four guys, I seen one guy, I guess there was four guys that jumped me. So, another reason why I don't like the word carny. A lot of people refer to the whole dirty carny, oh, he's a, nothing but a dirty carny, he's a low life, oh, oh they, they have nothing good to, to say. All they do is, is con people all of their money and steal their money and this, that, and the other. I'm not a carny. I'm, I'm not a carny. I'm, a, I'm enjoying it. I'm an agent. I work, and that's nope. pretty much it. Uh, usually when I see a carny, my first impression is like, I usually don't notice that they're a carny until I see that they're working a booth. And usually they're just regular everyday people looking, but uh, when I really think about it, they just seem like somebody who didn't really go to school much and didn't really get by with another job, so they decided to follow the carnival and take life wherever it takes it. The games are rigged. Like, big time. Never won anything off the top shelf unless I pay a certain amount of money to get something off the show. You can't win with one payment. You have to keep paying until you, then you'll win it. Um, I feel like carnival workers are that they can be really creepy sometimes and like constantly very needy and like really like want your attention. I do for the most part believe that they are nice people, but some of them are a little rough around the edges. Well, they live with the carnival, and they smell like the carnival, and it's sometimes pleasant, but usually not. So how did you get the job? Well, I had a friend say, hey, Pat, do you think you could work? I said, well, that's a silly question. Of course I could work. So I showed up one day where I was told to get picked up. I got into a van. We started driving. About 10 minutes down the road, I said, so uh, what are we doing? The driver says, oh, we're going to set up. Said, okay. I smoked a cigarette, thought on it for a minute. I said, hey, silly question, Um, set up what? He says, uh, carnival rides, bud, you're a, you're a carny now. That's pretty much how I got my job. I've been here ever since. I was coming back from a cigarette break. I walked past a fun house of all things, and I heard a little boy just screaming bloody murder. So I looking around, I couldn't find him. I peeked under the ride. I had seen the child had crawled under the ride and put his hand in the mechanics. It pulled him from his fingers to his elbow, broke quite a bit of damage, did quite a bit of bone damage to him. And me and a few fellow mechanics raced to as fast as we could to undo it. Unfortunately, the fire department had to come help us out. They used the jaws of life, cut a few of our bars, and we got him out just as safe as we possibly could. I found out later that he made a full recovery. He didn't need any cosmetic surgery or anything. He just got everything placed back together and he had a full recovery. With my unit, the B-Show, we travel anywhere around the GTA. We'll go out towards Windsor, maybe towards Ottawa, depending on the season. But the A unit, they travel anywhere from Brantford right out to Sault Ste. Marie, Prince Edward Island, and all the way back again. That's we end off in uh, Rockton. It's right by Hamilton. We do the big Rockton World Fair, and that's our final hurrah for the year. 
Don't call me a carny. You don't like that? No. No? No. Why I've, that? I've been working here since 2010, and I come from a wide range of work, including the military. And to me, I'm, I'm, member, I'm an ex-military member. I'm not a carny. I run a machine gun game, I love it, and the word Kearney is way back, way back, like 50s, 60s, they were Kearneys. These are ride workers, and we're called concessionaires for the games. My, my wife called me, her nephew was supposed to work, and uh, she called me all upset because he didn't show up. And I said, well, if your boss needs me, I'll come down for one day. The farthest spot we travel to is out east, is Bridgewater, Nova Scotia. We also do PEI, uh, about 10 spots, I think it is, in New Brunswick. Uh, one spot in Quebec, Ormstown, Quebec. And then we, do a, we start off in Ontario, and we finish in Ontario. Our last show is the, the World's Fair Rockton. A lot of people I've met that have come out here have actually recovered um, from drugs and got clean off drugs while they were out here. Like those uh, street thugs, I guess you could call them, call us traveling hustlers and all that stuff. And, and you know, I don't like the word carny because of the fact of the definition that a lot of people have given the word carny or dirty carny for that fact. And that's just why, that's one of the reasons why I don't, I don't like being referred to as a carny. I go home when I'm done this season. I go home and I'm just like you guys. I sit at my house, I'll, I'll sit there, I'll hang out with my friends. Play I'll, video I'll, games. I'll play some video games, I'll cuddle, with my, I'll cuddle with my girlfriend and I'll go to, you know, I'll spend some time with my girlfriend and I'll go to work. When I'm not working here this summer, I come here to travel, I come here to work, I come here to help my stepdad and my uncle. They've been out here for almost six, well, my uncle's been out here for more than six years, but my stepdad, uh, my mom actually introduced him to our boss and he's been working for my boss ever since, uh, about six years ago. My, our boss even paid Paid for my stepdad to get his trucking license. Nice. Yeah. No, no questions. That's like that that's that's fifteen thousand dollars right there, just for his trucking license and all that stuff. That's the kind of respect we get out here. We show respect to our our people. We are a, we're a giant family out here. Yeah. We may get into our own little dukes out here with each other. We may have problems with one another, but when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, we are all family. We have oh, we yeah. all have each other's back. On the final day, teardown comes, we worked all day, we tore down all night, we get into a vehicle, drive to a new city, maybe if we're lucky, sleep for one or two hours. The second you wake up at 9 a.m., you're setting it all back up again in a whole new city. It never goes away.